Now, first slide will help you uh, elicite the point what is stigma and what it can lead to. So, stigma, as I said, next slide, please. Any negative attribution and uh, um, as I had said, this, this is how you can use this uh, presentation. So, we'll understand what is stigma and how it what it can lead to and how uh, we need to tackle this for ensuring that our efforts for controlling the disease are met. So, um, stigma ki wajah se what is happening and why stigma? As I said, COVID is a new disease. Anything which is new, lot of unknowns, science is still evolving. We are learning every day. It can lead to fear and anxiety. So, because of which stigma and what happens? What happens when people are stressed and worried because of fear. So there is worry uh, of falling ill and dying. There is worry of approaching health facilities due to fear of becoming infected while in care. If people do not know fully about the disease, there is worry that they will be isolated socially within the family. There is worry that they can infect others. There is this helplessness and boredom also. Now, if you think of the... Uh, call, the clarion call even given by the Prime Minister to come for ensuring that we stand up as a society and there is this sense of social cohesion. Why is this? Because people are not used to being locked down for so many days and it can lead to fear and anxiety. And I'll tell you an example from today. One of our health colleagues in an interagency group in one of the states wrote, what a black day today. We have increased 50 cases in one day in some say, state, as the cases will always peak, as our uh, predecessors have said, that when we peak reach the peak, there will be a fall. So cases will increase. But you know, uh, this coming from a medical practitioner was not at all surprising for us. So we were empathetic towards him that, you know, anybody who's on the front line, especially doctors, can themselves feel stressed and depressed. And sometimes then it can clog our thinking. So I think this is another important point that the stress you can't stigmatize aap nahi kar sakte. because fear for unknown is real. So recognizing this early and supporting people to come out of this fear is also important. So stigma to come to reduce the stigma, you psychosocial counseling or support in which I that yoga and meditation can be so important role khud ho sakta hai. And plus some professional tips, as you would have seen that even psychiatric societies and uh, social workers are available through the ministry institutions and otherwise to provide psychosocial care wherever we feel that people are stressed beyond the level where uh, basic first aid can help. So you will have access to all those other facilities also, but it is important to understand that fear of unknown is real and stigma ki wajah se hum dekh rahe hai, range of things that can happen. But again, I'll uh, stress on an important point. If you think of the incidents which happened in Indore that a health worker was driven away by a set of people, again, for the same reasons. Jinko a uh, information ka gap hai, just ki wajay se they acted the way in this acted. But what was encouraging to see that health worker, I saw the interview on the very next day that she said, I'm up and ready to go into another area. Because I will not be negatively impacted by the society behaving with me like this. Because unki galti nahi hai, unko information ki kami hai. Isliye mein apne kaam ko nahi rokungi. And I'm very happy ki mein aaj se fir se kaam pe ja rahi So this is the zeal with which, including you all, we are all health workers and others who are on the front lines. This is the zeal with which we are working. And congratulations for that. And you bohat zaruri hai samajna. If any individual or group of individuals is behaving like so this is nothing surprising. It is just that we need to push facts and science. And as my predecessors have said, that you have the right information, you will be able to get the right facts and science, which will reduce the stigma and discrimination. Next, please. Okay, next slide, please. Thank you. So this slide uh, helps you when you are uh, taking sessions for others. Ki why there is uh, fear? Because this this is a new disease. Things are being still discovered. And when something is unknown, people worry about that. And rumors on fake news are uh, wrong information spread the fear. And what happens is that where unknown is, 
वहां पे र्यूमर्स के लिए काफी पॉसिबिलिटी हो जाती है पीपल कैन स्टार्ट राइटिंग एनीथिंग बिकॉज द साइंस इज स्टिल इवॉल्विंग सो द ओनली मैसेज इज एज अ फ्रंटलाइन हेल्थ वर्कर हम जितने फैक्ट्स को ज्यादा सोसाइटी में फैलाएंगे उतना ज्यादा ये स्टिग्मा और फियर कम होगा सो इफ यू हियर वन नेगेटिव थिंग मेक श्योर दैट यू पुश टेन पॉजिटिव थिंग्स अबाउट हाउ वी आर टैकलिंग दिस डिजीज नेक्स्ट प्लीज now in this slide uh, it will give you an opportunity of four small case studies of how to recognize stigma isme for example in the first bullet uh, there is a grocery shop owner who is fearing to sneeze kyunki uske customers chale jayenge there is a second uh, uh, chhota sa snippet which says that somebody has traveled from pune and um, you know uh, the uh, family members are worried ki ye hamare sath rahenge he is come from a area jahan kafi cases hai to others can get the disease then third is that some somebody's may housemaid has been asked to leave because she had certain symptoms fourth case is where there are kids of a family and this is also very important kids of a family who have been staying with others as their parents are in isolation or quarantine and there can be issues around child uh, protection so is made there is mention of if you look at the uh, answers uh, there is mention of also uh, appearing the child protection committees in the districts because this another uh, important issue vulnerable population groups especially uh, women elderly and children so this is also true in such situations where the whole society families and individuals are stressed ki aise vulnerable population groups ke needs aur zyada ho sakte hain and we have to recognize that and uh, beyond the health department even uh, women and child health department uh, wcd department is working to ensure that child protection committees and other means of protecting women children and especially elderly you would have seen advisories on how we should support the elderly especially in this situation so in sab cheezon ko bhi humko khayal mein rakhna hai ki during these uh, times of stress how the vulnerable population groups need to be taken care of more next please so if you categorize broadly in these three areas what can stigma do to so make people hide their problems and jiski wajah se i said it will be easier to spread the disease rather than control it and uh, the second point is keep people away from accessing health services and seeking help again if somebody is fearing stigmatization ki main jaunga aur jaungi and i'll get labeled as a disease person then there will be stigmatization so somebody might hide it and then this would risk the others within the family and the community and third is discourages them from maybe taking some um, uh, preventive measures and adopting healthy behaviors so if you broadly uh, think of these three core areas of what stigma leads to sirf ek hi important baat isme samne aa rahi hai ki unless we are supportive to everybody anybody who is either diseased or is dealing with the diseased we do not label them as somebody who has got the disease because virtually everybody can get the disease and nobody will get the disease if we adapt all the preventive measures properly so you would have seen that even health workers in very high case load facilities so it a exposure hai do do teen teen mahine tak workers ko bhi infection nahi hua why because they have taken all the precautions to agar precautions lenge to har vyakti bach sakta hai nahi lenge to ye disease kisi ki bhi ho sakti hai and we have seen that globally that there is no caste creed or any color regional divide anybody can get affected so never label somebody with a disease always refer to them as humans is somebody by this name is ko positive aa gaya instead of saying this is the house of a covid patient this is a house of somebody who is covid isolated for covid because that will lead to stigma and as we have been seeing in some cases positive stories jo recover hue hain log आज एक केरला में हमारे कॉलीग एक नर्स हैज कम आउट ऑफ द आइसोलेशन आफ्टर ट्रीटिंग सक्सेसफुली ट्रीटिंग एल्डरली कपल एंड देन शी गॉट कोविड पॉजिटिव सो हाउ दी हेल्थ वर्कर्स वर स्टैंडिंग एंड क्लैपिंग फॉर हर 
So bringing out these positive stories and showing solidarity and support for people who get affected rather than labeling them as disease will lead to destigmatization. So this thing we have to be very important and we have to keep in mind. Next, please. Next slide, please. So finally, what can we all do? And when we say volunteers, sorry, this says youth volunteers, but uh, you can imagine every day different cohorts are being trained. So what we can do is sensitize people and help them to understand that this is a simple infection. 80% of the cases are mild. Make special efforts to reach out to high-risk groups, including senior citizens and younger children, as I had mentioned earlier. Ask people to stay away from watching negative things on the TV and also fake news. See, this is very important. You cannot control uh, people who are there out for TRP. Everybody will do responsible journalism. Everybody will be responsible citizen. We cannot expect. इसलिए we have to make sure कि हम जितने लोगों को अपनी responsibility की तरफ ले जा सके या अगर कोई एक negative news दे रहा है तो हम दस positive चीजें उसको आगे propagate करें this is what we have to keep in mind and then guide WhatsApp groups to help in giving hope and positive news to people rather than increasing that stigma and stress advise people to engage in relaxing activities like indoor games reading gardening home cleaning and as I said when it comes to Ayush, uh, I mean, I myself has uh, I have realized that I have done yoga ka practice daily kabhi nahi kya, uh, in the last uh, a few years, as I have done in the last few years. So I think Ayush has a very big strength hai ki hum logo ko, because all this stigmatization or lack of you know, taking these positive behaviors or thinking that society is not thinking about me, why should I think about the society? So all these risk-taking behaviors, de-stressing se kam ho sakta hai, and I think again re-emphasizing Ayush can play an important role. Then engaging community influencers, share correct information on COVID with them, brief them on the support, required by you. So, this I will again stress as my predecessors have said, if you go to mohfw.gov.in, then in today's date, I just happen to check with my colleagues globally, our ministry's website, the amount of information or the appearance semantics has changed so much, the amount of information available there virtually has answers to all your questions. So, go to mohfw.gov.in Go to the WHO website, go to the UNICEF website, only credible websites and read as much as possible. It's being updated daily and only propagate correct information. And then, as I said, publicly use terms like people who have COVID instead of COVID-19 case or victim. Similarly, use terms like people who may have COVID instead of suspected case. So, हर आदमी को dehumanize करने से हम बचे हैं सबको उनके नाम से बुलाएं instead of saying कि ये covid का case है या covid के लिए isolate हुआ है and then finally emphasizing that most people do recover from covid and amplify the good news with the local people. So, जैसे वो Kerala का मैंने case बताया कि an elderly couple both of them above 80 and a health worker all three of them fully recovered out of these health facilities. So, जितना हम society में पॉजिटिव न्यूज़ को फैलाएंगे, जितना साइंस को बढ़ावा देंगे, उतना स्टिग्मा कम होगा, जितना फैक्ट्स को बढ़ावा देंगे, उतना फियर कम होगा। नेक्स्ट प्लीज। सो फाइनली एस ट्रेनर्स, व्हाट यू विल गेट इन दिस स्लाइड इज अ केस स्टडी, वेयर देर इज अ फैमिली जिसमें देर इज अ वाइफ हु and the husband is then asked to uh, go out and fetch something. And then there is the frontline health worker, Asha worker. And um, then uh, there is the involvement of the community in the form of village health and nutrition committee. And then uh, you will be able to ask questions like, what are some of the positive actions taken by Asha in this case, where uh, Suresh is under home quarantine with wife who has developed labor pain. And then Asha took her to the hospital for delivery while she also requested the community in the village to take care of Suresh who is in a home quarantine so that he's not stigmatized, feels supported. So in this way, you will get the option of asking these three questions with answers, prompted answers. But also if you look at the last question, if you are the IU student, what would you have done additionally? So this will give you the opportunity of eliciting any um, innovative out-of-the-box response of what could have happened in this kind of a situation from um, the um, trainees. 
सो दिस विल गिव यू दी ऑपरचुनिटी कि अगर कुछ अच्छा एडिशनल किसी की तरफ से इंफॉर्मेशन आता है एंड दैट इज यूजफुल फॉर अदर्स सो देन ऑल दी अदर ट्रेनिंग विल बेनिफिट फ्रॉम इट नेक्स्ट प्लीज so i think this ends the presentation so i will just end by saying that uh, promote science to reduce stigma